there's something really unsettling about a giant space fetus that just doesn't land with me and all the monkey screeching the whoa What's up guys, and welcome back to Please Don't Touch Anything, and for today's episode, we're gonna finish this game. Okay, we still have no idea what this machine is, or why we're here, or where did Steve's arm go? We have a lot of very important questions, and hopefully today we're gonna get answers. I'm not actually gonna make any promises, because I have no idea how this is gonna end. It could very well be just as cryptic as the game itself. What I do know is that we only have one, two, three, four, five endings left, and not that many clues to go off of. Which might actually be a good thing now that I think about it, because the difficulty of the game isn't really finding the clues, it's putting the clues together to find the ending. So if we have less clues, and we have less endings, then it should just be easier to put them together, right? Either way, I have a few comments from you guys that I wanted to test out at the start of this episode, because people have been asking questions that I don't really know the answer to. One of them being, is there anything interesting going on behind this screen? Because we know for a fact that it tells us, is any of this real? But we also know that you can get behind it if you just give it a good smack? Are you made of rubber this morning or something? Come on, dude, help me out. There we go. <laughs> and nothing. Okay, well that's a bit of a disappointment. And when I press this button, it brings me to... Oh no. No, 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 not the Illu- Oh god, not the Illuminati thing again. <laughs> Another comment was people asking, why does this one make me feel so sick? And it's not the giant triangle floating around me, it's the gradient background that is slowly spinning. Like, if I look directly down, I'm not only floating, but everything is just kind of moving underneath me. Is there- Oh, that is a million- Oh, that's a million times worse. No, no, I'm so done. Holy crap, I almost fell over there. <laughs> Do not look behind you. It's times like these that I'm happy this is the final episode, because I hope to never go back there. <laughs> that vomit hole is really just the epitome of VR. Now another question that you guys had for me was, are there any symbols from the blacklight underneath this stuff? Because usually I look at the top of the console, but I don't look underneath things. And we found a lot of interesting clues underneath this one. So, oh yeah. Have I seen that before? So we have a four on yellow. Okay, so let's try hitting yellow four times. And there's nothing going on with the city boom disc. Nothing on the phone or anything like that. Uh, we can see if there's anything weird going on in the hamster cage. We know that there's a rocket and tic-tac-toe here, which come to think of it is a clue that we haven't figured out yet, right? So, tic-tac-toe, X wins on the right column. Okay, well we can remember that, that might be useful. Uh, hello little hamster! You, you scurry away, I'm just gonna see if there's anything going on with your friend. Uh, nothing? Nothing. It's a very clean hamster cage, I expected to at least see a ton of pee or something like that. Weird, okay, oh! We haven't seen that before, touch everything! Oh, I never thought of taking a look from this angle. A little bit further away. I don't move around a whole lot in this game. <laughs> so maybe there's something like back here? No, just the footprints. Uh, got some tallies, 20. Okay, well we can see if 20 is anything. No, no, okay, well we do have this as well. So this is the solar system, right? And three. Three in the solar system would be Earth. Okay, so we have 20, we have a rocket ship tic-tac-toe, we have Earth, we have yellow four times. Huh. Earth! Wait a minute, there was an ending that I didn't finish in the second episode, right? How did we get that again? I think it was... 312213, and then you went this way. 
Right, and I put the year. It was, uh, 2001. And it gave us this. So this is what I didn't get, because this is a, a four-letter word that we need to figure out. Oh no, it can be different! It can be a five-letter word. Five-letter... It can be Earth, could it? Oh yeah, we also have a button here. Which, uh... Doesn't seem to do anything yet. I feel like I'm on the Price is Right showdown. <laughs> Come on, Earth has to fit. Yeah, E-A-R, okay. Can I get a T-H? One time, can I spin the wheel? Come on! <laughs> my stupid hands aren't really that physical. Oh my god, this is just gonna drive me crazy. Oh, oh, I got a T-H. E-A-R-T-H. Earth. Good. Ooh. We have a key. We have a key with a little rocket ship on it. So... So does this have something to do... Hold on a second, can I put you back? Just just hang out there, because like I said, that had a rocket ship, that had tic-tac-toe. Um... Tic-tac-toe wouldn't be able to go in here because I can't open it. Um... Where would tic-tac-toe go? Hold on a second. So maybe it actually has something to do with the hamsters. <laughs> because we could never figure out what the point of the hamsters was. So now that I have this open, do you guys have anything of interest for me? You just run into the wall. So that was a ghost hamster, but how about you, little guy? You still hanging out in here with your button? Does your screen have anything of interest for me? No, it's just a little city. And I still can't press your button or anything. And I still can't get you out. And I scratch underneath your chin. <laughs> there are a few clues that we've gotten from this machine, though, other than the tic-tac-toe, right? We had the 8008. I can't put boob in because we can't get access to the numbers, but we also have red, yellow, yellow, blue. And that's always done something for me, but I never knew what. Every time I put it in, it gives me a bunch of question marks. I'm willing to bet it's because I didn't have access to the key yet. So red, yellow, yellow, blue. Blue. No? What? Red, yellow, yellow, blue. Like, it's doing something. It's not wrong, because if I put in any random code, it just tells me invalid color scheme. So it is something. It's just a different ending. <laughs> what if we try yellow four times? Right, that... That was another thing that we found. Okay. So now you can go there? Oh, that's an ending! Yeah, we got one! Oh dear, okay, we're blasting off into space. To meet the, the space baby and... Uh, Steve's monkey collection? What was that? There's something really unsettling about a giant space fetus that just doesn't land with me. And all the monkey screeching, the- Oh, sh God! <laughs> Okay. Um. Hi. I seem to have made an obelisk friend. He is solid. Do you have anything interesting to say to me, big boy? No? Okay, I'm just going to assume that that's it, right? That there shouldn't be clues or anything on you. That actually scared the crap out of me because it was just some giant black thing in the corner of my face. And it's like I said, this is weirdly unsettling. I don't like it. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we still have one, two, because there's a secret one there, three, four endings left. And that code is still something that I haven't used yet. So what other endings are there that we haven't figured out? There was the phone. So we can try, oh, and the wings. Okay, um... How do I get either of those? I don't remember how to get back to them. <laughs> I think one of them was 8008. No, 88020. Right? Two, zero? That's the wings. Okay. So now, if we open you up, I can do something like this. And then it was what? Red, yellow, yellow, blue? No? Still no dice. 
Okay, how about we try the telephone? I could just whack on this for a little bit. Give me my hammer back. You just hang out right there and stop... Or on the floor, just stop making a ton of noise. That's all that matters. So, uh, red, yellow, yellow, blue. Ah, ah, okay. We got, uh... We got a Dilatron. Dilatron? A Dilatron that I can't actually interact with. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's right. I put in 311-399-2364, and I got 1990s internet. Three... Can I not... Oh, I probably need to do something like this. 311... Three nine nine two three six. I'm sorry, I got fat VR fingers. I mean, you're technically in my hand right now, lady. Three one one three nine nine two three six four. Ooh, we're calling. Why did I get close? I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Do you like that dialatron? Oh, answered, negotiating handshake, connecting to remote host, connected, login... Whoa, 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 whoa. Greetings, producer Falcon. Tic-tac-toe? Um... Okay? I'm... I'm not actually playing right now. Um... What? Winner none. A strange game. Is this a war games reference? Wouldn't you prefer a nice game of chess? It is a war games reference. I, most of you probably don't even know what that movie was. It's a chess supercomputer that, I don't know, nuke the world kind of thing. Um, did, did you want to play chess? Did you want to nuke stuff? I- I nuke stuff. I can play chess. I've done both, technically. Oh, that's what that ending was. It wasn't a rocket ship, it was a nuke. That's really clever. I think I just had a Eureka moment, but I'm not sure if I tried this in a past episode or not, so bear with me if I'm being a little bit senile here, but I'm trying to take stock of everything that we haven't used so far. Stuff that we've found but hasn't fit in anywhere, and I think my biggest problem right now is that I don't know where two of these three endings even begin. Like, we know that this has to be an ending, because we've made quite a bit of progress on it, but I don't know if all of this other stuff is a part of it, or if it's its own ending. But we have D1, D4, D7, B something, something 4. And I tried to put that in here like a battleship code, I'm fairly certain, or that's what I'm thinking right now. One of the two. And it didn't work, I would imagine? But now I'm thinking, what if it's not B something, something 4, it's B4? So what if we try uh, D1, D4, D7, B4, and then we need something else. Uh, it could be B1, or it could be B, B, B1, no, B7 would make it a diamond, right? I think that did something. That definitely did something. We got a diamond. That that doesn't help me though. <laughs> I mean, I, I it's a start, right? Can you just go back there for safekeeping? Because I still have no idea what to do with you. I'm gonna try something, and if it's right, you guys aren't allowed to get mad at me because you were the ones who told me this. If I try yellow, red, blue, blue. Really? Okay, I should probably explain, because that's- that's a big deal. 
For the last two episodes, people have been pointing out that when I use the boom disc and I finish that incredibly difficult minigame, at the end it says something like, you dropped all bombs, or something like that. And there was a couple of letters flashing, and those letters were YRBB. People were saying that that's a color code that I might need to use, and I kind of just forgot about it because I try to avoid spoilers, but if they pop up in my head because you guys told me, then there's really nothing I can do about it. It, that makes my life a lot easier. If I had to search through all of the endings, would have completely drove me nuts. That mini game is freaking impossible. So if we put the diamond in here, that did a thing, right? That did a thing. Okay, we got a diamond ending. Oh, not you again. Can you just. Oh. Hey, I'm in Jabu Jabu's belly. Right when you think you got this game down pat and you've come to expect everything, they put you inside some kind of giant gross worm thing. This is crazy. Again, might not translate well to VR, but ugh, I don't like it. Yeah, we're in like some kind of Beetlejuice dune sandworm. But then, a very peculiar thing happened. It was at this point that the computer screen showed a new message, awaiting input. Well, this is certainly different, thought Stanley. Excuse me? And then Stanley pressed the big red button. My Stanley? Uh, okay. And that's when the extra buttons began to appear. What the hell is happening right now? And then, more buttons. Wait a minute, is this a Stanley Parabola? <laughs> oh, you have to be kidding me. Okay. And then, more buttons. Oh, dude, dude, calm down. That That's a lot of buttons. That That's a whole lot of buttons. Oh, and okay. And even more buttons. And even more buttons. Got him, Until got him. Last, there were so many buttons to press that Stanley wasn't sure he could press them all. No, I can press them all. We're good. Maybe? Aha! You can't trick me, narrator. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> you got the job! Yeah! That was another great reference, but I have no idea what I did to trigger it! <gasps> is it just... is it just like the supposed to be the last one? No, it's not the last one. We still have one more. Hello, my name is Stanley. Okay, so now all that we have left is that one secret hey. ending. Whew. Steve's arm! I need to take a bathroom break. Just stay here for a minute. I, I know. What? What? Did you ask what that panel's for? Ah, don't bother. It's just a coffee machine. Strange looking, right? I don't know where it came from. It just appeared here one day. Sometimes it shows ads on the screen. You can order some coffee while I'm gone. Wait, this is different. Don't push the red button. Don't push the red button. You, you, you said things that were different this time, right? That's not what you said the last time. Don't push the... Okay, well, you're not my boss. Oh, it's the end of the game! The last level's the credits! Why did they only give me a tiny little cup? This thing is a lot better at killing people than it is making coffee, though. I gotta kind of suck it out, but sure, why why not? You can take that back now. Go, go away. <gasps> oh man, this was a great game. That has to be the last ending, right? I, I should have let the credits run now that I think about it, but yeah, there we go. We got them. We got them all. What are you? Oh, it's you again. <laughs> But I think that's gonna be it for Please Don't Touch Anything, guys. And really quickly, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for supporting this series. Because this was just a random little game that I dug up. It's old, it's been played by people before, but I wanted to give it a try. And it ended up being like one of my most popular series in a very long time, which was surprising to say the least but just thank you guys for letting me enjoy this kind of game and also last episode when i recommended i expect you to die a ton of people went over and enjoyed that too so just 
thank you guys for being supportive in general, I guess. And I figured that at the end of this episode, once again, I would recommend another VR playthrough that I did of Floor Plan. This is a more recent one, so you may have seen it, but if you haven't, it's very much like Please Don't Touch Anything, except rather than being stuck in a small room, you're stuck in an elevator. And each of the floors is kind of its own strange, strange ending to figure out. Again, another small game, old, but so much fun that I highly recommend it. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.